In this video, we're talking about how to find the derivative of exponential functions. And an exponential function is any function that involves this value here, e. And e to the x is the most basic exponential function there is. In this particular problem, we have e to the negative x. So we'll have to use chain rule to find the derivative of that. But the function we're working with overall is f of x equal to quantity x squared minus 1 multiplied by e to the negative x. So there's a couple things going on here. We need to find the derivative of this function. So first of all, the derivative of f of x is going to be f prime of x. But to take the derivative here of the right-hand side, what we need to realize is that we have the product of two functions. So the first function we could call this quantity here, x squared minus 1. And the second function we could call this e to the negative x value here. So we have these two functions multiplied together. When we have two functions multiplied together and we need to take the derivative, we have to use product rule. And I've got product rule written out here. It says that the derivative of f of x times g of x, we have two functions multiplied together here. When we want to take the derivative of that, we have to use this formula here. So the derivative of f of x times g of x plus f of x times the derivative of g of x. So what we're going to do is equate x squared minus 1 to f of x. So we're going to call f of x this first function here. And we're going to say that e to the negative x is g of x here in our formula. So we're going to sort of match those up so we can easily use this product rule formula. So the product rule formula tells us that the first thing we need is the derivative of f of x, f prime of x. So in our case, f of x we've said is x squared minus 1. So we want the derivative of x squared minus 1. Well, the derivative of x squared minus 1, if we take that term by term, the derivative of x squared is 2x. And the derivative of 1 is 0. The derivative of any constant is 0. So we have 2x minus 0, which of course is just 2x. So the derivative of x squared minus 1 is 2x. So that 2x right there is going to take care of this f prime of x. Then we have to multiply that by g of x. And we don't do anything to g of x. We just keep it exactly as is. So we said g of x is e to the negative x. So we're going to multiply this by e to the negative x. But then according to our product rule formula, we have to add to that. So we're going to add to that f of x, again, unchanged. So f of x here in its original form is x squared minus 1. So we're going to say x squared minus 1. But we have to multiply that by g prime of x. So g of x here is e to the negative x. So for g prime of x, we need to find the derivative of e to the negative x. Well, the derivative of the most basic exponential function, e to the x, is still just e to the x. In fact, the derivative doesn't change at all. If you start with e to the x and you want its derivative, the derivative is still e to the x. The tricky thing is when we have to apply chain rules. So if the exponent is more complicated than just x, for example, if we want to take the derivative of e to the ax, where a is a constant, well, we have to use chain rule. And remember that chain rule tells us we take the derivative of the outside function, leaving the inside function completely untouched. And then we have to multiply by the derivative of the inside function. So when we want to take the derivative here, the outside function here is the exponential function. The inside function is the exponent ax. So what we want to do is take the derivative of the outside function. And since the derivative of e to the x is still just e to the x, the derivative of e to the ax is still e to the ax. But now chain rule tells us that we have to multiply by the derivative of the inside function. So the derivative of ax, if a is just a constant coefficient in front of x here, the derivative of ax is just a. So we would have to multiply this by a. And when we rewrite it, the derivative would be a e to the ax. Now the reason that that doesn't show up in here is because it's just hidden. Basically what we have here is e to the 1x. So when we take the derivative, we say the derivative is e to the 1x multiplied by the derivative of the inside function. Well, the derivative of 1x is just 1. So we multiply it by 1, and when we rewrite this, when we simplify, we get 1 times e to the 1x. But when we drop those redundant 1s, those implied 1s, we just get e to the x. So it really is built into this formula. It just doesn't show up because the coefficient on this exponent is 1. Well, in our case here, we have e to the negative x. So the coefficient is negative 1. So when we apply chain rule to find the derivative, we say the derivative of e to the negative 1x is still e to the negative 1x. But then we have to multiply by the derivative of the inside function. So the inside function is negative 1x, and its derivative is negative 1. So we have to multiply by negative 1. Now when we simplify this whole derivative, 
because we use product rule to find the derivative of f of x. Now we just need to simplify this here. So 2x times e to the negative x, we just write 2x e to the negative x. Here we're going to have plus quantity x squared minus 1. This then, we can take away the 1, so really what we have here, we'll bring this negative 1 out in front, so we have times negative e to the negative 1x, which we can just write as negative x. Now we'll bring this whole negative e to the negative x term out in front of the x squared minus 1, and we'll say 2x e to the negative x. This negative sign turns this positive into a negative, so we have minus e to the negative x multiplied by x squared minus 1. Now we could leave it in this form, or if we wanted to, we could factor out an e to the negative x. We could say f prime of x is going to be equal to e to the negative x. We'll factor that out. And what we'll be left with is just 2x for this first term minus, we'll keep the minus sign, this e to the negative x got factored out, but what we have is x squared minus 1 like this. Then we can drop the parentheses here on the x squared minus 1, and we can say f prime of x is equal to e to the negative x multiplied by 2x. Distributing the negative sign, we get minus x squared minus a negative 1, or plus 1. And if we reorder those terms, we can say that our final answer for the derivative is f prime of x is equal to e to the negative x multiplied by, and we'll go ahead and lead with a positive term, so we'll bring that 1 out in front. We'll say 1 plus 2x minus x squared, and this is the derivative of the original function, which we found using product rule, and the derivative of the exponential function, e to the x.